old crossbow here that's at center point. Just doing some some firing today. This is the first time I shot out. I am late, guys. The catfish is late. I'm shooting them gold, them gold tip arrows. First shot was low, and then uh, the second and the third shot is is bring the bring the meat to the house. All right. Live action, guys. I'm Catfish, and I'm the bigger man. And uh, you done fell onto the Tri City Bigger Boys channel. And um, the bigger man here, he got a uh, he's got a little surprise for y'all guys. I got some uh, eight eight week old pups. They're two months old, and the pure blue tick. The mama is a red tick. Uh, her name is Fliss, one of my good good dogs. She's a good all around dog. And Smoke, the same uh, male dog that I always breed to. Smoke is their daddy. And guys, we got two of them here that look almost like twins in the face. They got that big, wide, white spot in the head. As you can see right here. See, turn that puppet around. Let, they see them, let them see their head. Yeah, there you go. These are two twins right there. Boy, they pretty. Yeah. And uh, and the other one is a pretty. He's a darker blue tick, the other one is. They're some pretty pups. And they're all males. And guys, uh... If you, if you want to know pricing um, or got any questions or concerns about them, um, email me. Shoot, shoot me an email. These dogs are for sale. Um, this is going to be the last litter for, for this hunting season. This is the last litter for this hunting season. Um, is it three, three of the puppies are already sold right off the mama dog. Um, and, and, of course, th these are the ones that we got left. Uh, again, if you want to... Um, ask any questions or any concerns about the puppies, email me, um, tcbb1982 at gmail.com. And I'll put that link down below too as well. If you're interested in the dogs, again, these are going to be the last pups yep. um, for the 2018-2019 um, hunting season. And, uh, and of course, we'll, we'll give you all updates as we go on these, uh, on these beautiful dogs that you got down here. And how, how old are they? They're exactly eight, eight weeks old. Have you had the shots and, already? And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them the, uh, the five-way shots tomorrow. They get their five-way shots tomorrow. There you go, guys. Again, if you got, got any questions, y'all let, let us know. Yeah, and it's three male, three male puppies. And they're, all, they're very friendly and everything. You won't have any problem with them, guys. They are pretty. All right, guys. Um, me and the big old man back. Y'all, y'all see my my little Charlotte Grace right here, with, hang, hanging in, hanging in with GP. How old is she now, Captain? Uh, she'll be one in October. All right, she'll be one in October. Come here, Stink. Come here, Faith. Nature girl, look at you running away. Um, so look, guys, we want to just say um, thank you uh, for Hound Dog Country uh, for giving those shirts, giving those um, lanyards. Um, to our to our family to our subscribers on YouTube, uh, we appreciate that Hound Dog Country has been an awesome place uh, for me and Dad to go to and ask questions and get supplies, get medicine and get clothes. Uh, we we just want to shout out to them folks out there in Creedmoor, North Carolina, uh, Hound Dog Country. They've been awesome, and uh, and also um, we just want to thank everybody that shared and liked that video. Did the big one man and I did? That's right. Uh, guys, uh, and uh, I want to do a shout out to uh, Maddox Mitchell. Maddox Mitchell, because uh, he's he's been steady of uh, giving us uh, positive comments on our on our videos and stuff, and I love it. And Stan Woods, I want you to stand up and and and, and say your piece because we coming for you 
<laughs> we got something for you, Stan Wood. And uh and uh and Mike Mike uh Mike Harris, you gonna be with us to make sure that we put it on Stan Woods. Hey uh Man Mass Fitness we uh, Big Mike up there, we ain't forgot you. Mass Fitness is on, buddy. Uh <laughs> you get get your get your ass together too. Get it on, Mass Fitness. You get, get it on. Get it on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so so look guys, um y'all know um deer season for us, crossbow season, bow season started uh yesterday, Saturday. And um and, and of course that's what I'm gonna be doing for a while here. Uh Bigger Man's gonna be doing some training of some dogs, training of some puppies. Uh every chance I get, every minute I get out the woods, every minute I get that I can step out from the family, from the house. I'm gonna try to be in the stand, guys. Um, the buck that I missed last year, twice, um, uh, he's back. And uh, and I'll show y'all a, a, qu a quick clip of that, uh, where I done missed that deer, at, at least with that one miss. The second miss, I think I deleted the footage. I was so, it was so ugly. Uh, I think I just, <laughs> I think I just del deleted the footage. Um, but either way it go, I've been out here, um, I've been out here practicing with my crossbow. Uh, I should have been pulled it out a long time ago, and I didn't. And and of course, it, uh, I got to get out here and shoot a few more times before I get in the stand. And um, this that center point, I think it's uh, Terminator or Tormentor or whatever. Pretty much a center point sniper, but this is the upgraded version of it. Uh, awesome bow, guys. I mean, this thing is it, it's fast. I mean, you you blink, you missed it. So this this bad boy is right, is good and sturdy, and uh, literally all of the I pulled it right out. From the house, came right out, started shooting. Uh, other than me, I think the, I think the crossbow right on. I think I'm the one doing all the. Well, you hit it three times already. Yeah, yeah, I when hit it more than that. Yeah, but it, it was it was kind of ugly. I think I done spined it. <laughs> I think I done spined the deer twice. <laughs> so uh, and old bird, old bird got a got a, uh, a, a look like a small doe this morning. Um, he went. I think he went crossbow hunting too as well. So uh, bow scene is on, and uh, you. Did you see all the guys and stuff up there? You seen um, you seen um, Bubba Roundtree and all them. Oh and, yeah. And Big Pencil, them guys been doing some hunting. Yeah. Uh, and and Bubba, I just want to tell you, you and Big Pencil, everybody love y'all down here in North Carolina. Yep. Now I can tell you that. Yep. Uh, we got a lot of guys that we talk to, and they they talk about how they watch y'all channel on, on on YouTube, and uh, they they love it, the deer hunting and the rabbit hunting. So I just want to let y'all know, and uh, and Bubba. One day we hope to get with you. As soon as I get these dogs up up to up to number one speed, like I want, I hope to uh, put on a good hunt with you, Bubba. I'm still training some dogs and getting some dogs together. Uh, some some of my old dogs passed, uh, Bubba. And uh, but anyway, uh, I still got some other dogs that's, that are like two and three, four years old. They're doing pretty good. And uh, and I got these upcoming puppies. And starting next week, guys, I'm the bigger man is going to be in the woods almost every day training. So when hunting season comes, I got to have some dogs. I mean, I got to have a 12-pack a when hunting season comes. So, guys, uh, be watching, and uh, and we're going we're gonna, to uh, show you uh, some of the pups, the same pups that we had running that little rabbit in the pen. And, guys, we're going to uh, try to show you how they advance. So... That's that's what we're gonna be doing here real soon, and uh, and guys, uh, it was one guy on it that asked me a question on on uh, that made a comment uh, on 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 YouTube. It said that uh, he wanted to know, uh, can you uh, keep a dog from overrunning the track, or or how can you keep a dog from overrunning the track? Well, guys, all I can tell you is, if that dog is overrunning the track right now. The only thing you can do is keep that dog in the woods all the time. And guys, if, if uh, you can, put that dog with a positive dog, a dog that you know that will not overrun the track so bad, and that dog will soon learn from that old dog to, keep, to, to stay on that track instead of overrunning it. Uh, some dogs seem to like to swing, but if, if, you, got a, if you got a good, hard, steady uh, beagle and... Uh, He's, he's, he's got good bloodline in him, then guys, that dog will learn to come, to, to stay on that on that track and not to overrun it. And, and if they overrun it, guys, dogs can overrun a track, uh, let's say uh, five, 
10 feet out. They can overrun the track. That's not bad. As long as they come right back and pick that track up and get on that line and take that line on. And there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, because uh, our, our dogs, just remember, we got pack and pleasure hounds when we're running rabbits. We don't have uh, these regular walkie-talkies and field trial beagles where the judges is so hard on and whatnot. Our dogs are pack and pleasure hounds. They're out there to have the fun and, and, and give us pleasure. So guys, that's all I can tell you about those dogs. What else you got, Catfish? Well, I think I think that's about it, big old man. Look, y'all, um, um, still continue to send the um, the pictures. Uh, continue to, uh, to send your hunting pictures. Um, shoot me an email. Yeah, yeah shoot an email shoot in email to uh, uh, to us. And Catfish, he'll answer you back. And guys, on all the shirts and hats that we talked about last time, if you can't uh, do everything like you want on on on, uh, on the computer on YouTube, give me a call. Uh, try to the bigger board phone, and and if I don't get you right then, I'll call you back and I'll talk with you. No problem at all. Uh, if if I ain't in the woods, guys, you better believe this is what the catfish is doing. <laughs> Working and taking care of them babies. Come here, boo. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So so look. Um, guys, we appreciate it. Um, Don, my, my, uh, mom, we got to make sure we send Don stuff out. Uh, we we got to send Don stuff out there. Um, we're having a lot of stuff going on, but live action, I love it. I enjoy it. Guys, y'all hanging there with us. Um, I think from here out, between the hunting videos and dad training, we still going to try to come to you all as much as we can uh, and try to still come to you once a week if we can. We're just, we just going to be extremely busy right now with the season kicking in. Um, we got um, the weather is changing. What's the temperature out here, you think? Man, temperature out here probably about 75. Hey, it's awesome it's, out here. It's nice out here Man, right now. Is that because of the storm coming? Yeah, the storm is coming in here, and guys are supposed to come in here tonight. It's supposed to come tonight? Yeah, we're supposed to get some hard rain. Um, Well, I know we got the hurricane coming. Yeah. Uh -huh. The hurricane supposed to be here around about Thursday yeah. and Friday. Well, we so, supposed to get a little rain tonight. Um, but the weather, you can just tell. Well, you can hear acorns falling. And guys, they are... Uh, the poplar trees that's right here in my yard, they done started turning yellow. And yep. and a lot of leaves has already started hitting the ground. So this, I mean, y'all the scene is on. I'm, I'm gonna leave y'all alone. Y'all go in the woods. Um, get, get, I'm Catfish. I'm the bigger man. And we'll see you in, in the, the woods. woods. All right. That was pretty good, Catfish. It was, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> that thing right, man. That just was right. Yes, sir. Crosshead dead on. That's right, man. Let's go drop some corn out, big man. All right, let's do it. I do it.